Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Withering Waves. The continues to flow on Mount Firmament. You met an unexpected listener while strolling through the life of the yet peaceful Hulk Zed and listening to interest stories about Mount Firmament. This gentle but mysterious wayfinder intends to have a special invitation to you. Today, we're doing Chang Ling's story quest. Okay, first off, we're gonna play her trial thing first and see how it goes. Finally! The day has come for her to be playable. I wasn't expecting to come be playable way sooner than I thought. Actually, not gonna learn that part. E ability. Whoa! Okay, that's very dangerous of us. Hold. Beautiful. Ooh, like a phoenix. Your alt. Be reduced to cinders. Nice. I remember seeing that actually in one of the story quests before. When I was playing as before. Beautiful. April's ready to get this woman home. Let's get started. Now, my first pull. That's purple. That's still purple. Golden! Ayo! Dirty pulls later. Okay, let's pull through. No, not that one. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. No. That's the last tits, woman. Your voice, I. Is who I is? Or is someone different? FIRE! For fuck's sake, lady! Funny how I got it twice just because. <laughs> like how I got England. Purple! Purple again. Purple! Come on, man! Just come home to me! Hey, my dick is 6 inches. Do you like that? That didn't work. I'm on 50 50, so. Guess I'm gonna save. Hey, here's a good thing though. I did got by a little more than once for the calculation to go up. And now she's a strong, sexy scientist. Hila! As for Fulina. Why? What do you want from me? It's not a big deal, honestly. If I don't get her, that's fine. At least you get a wee one, right? Well, I do have 22 days left to try to get her, hopefully. I want to replace her with my Changling Sai girl. I want a different 5 side on my team. Another one, you know? The Wei Chi pieces were scattered, but the Guru remained calm. It's getting late, he said gently to the woodcutter. Shouldn't you be heading down the mountain? As he glanced at the sky, the woodcutter was shocked to see how much time had passed. It couldn't have been more than two hours, he thought in disbelief. Feeling apologetic, he prepared to leave, worried that the guru would be annoyed with him. But when the woodcutter turned around, he nearly jumped out of his skin. The hermit guru, who had been playing Wei Chi and drinking wine, was now gone. In his place lay a shattered Weichi board and a heap of decaying bones. The woodcutter was so scared that he dropped his bamboo basket and ran down the mountain without even looking back. As he reached the mountain's base, he was hit with a stark realization. The quaint village he remembered had bloomed into a bustling town with sturdy brick houses replacing the humble thatched cottages. And where his home once stood, only an empty wasteland remained. He noticed a date on the calendar that he had never seen before. In shock, he grabbed a passerby and urgently asked, Excuse me, can you tell me the current date and time? As he heard the answer, his legs went weak. Everything had changed. Time had passed, and his loved ones were gone. No one remembered him anymore. Damn. So the woodcutter left Mount Firmament, but how is he still alive and kicking? With a hundred years worth of time inside him, shouldn't he? Your story, it's a bit far-fetched, don't you think? I mean, if I wasn't from Hangzhen, I might have fallen for it. Well, that's the whole point. The truth is stranger than fiction, my friend. Every detail in that story is based on real events. Let me share with you the other legend of Mount Firmament. For deep within its sacred peaks lies a powerful secret. The secret of immortality. Oh my god, these things... It's not even safe. We all know that Mount Firmament is the abode of the Sentinel, gathering spiritual energies from both heaven and earth for 
countless eons. Over time, even the mountain itself has taken on the form of our majestic sentinel. Living in the mountains for long stretches of time. Oh, I see cells. I see cells recognizable on the by side. And drinking from nature's own bounty can add years to one's lifespan. It all starts with that game of Weichi, one that the woodcutter stumbled upon. Too bad those secrets have been long forgotten. Gather around now, people. You're in for the story of a lifetime. Interesting, okay. Look who it is. She's standing right next to me. It's like, hey, Woba. Changling. Wait, does I know wait? <clears throat> Damn, look at them ears. What? What? I thought you better got my cock or something, but never mind. I'll see you there. Okay. Yeah. What's with the ruckus? Huh? What's that in your hand? Hey, Abby. Oh. Chung Lee gave it to me a moment ago. <gasps> Behold Hong Zhen in its entirety. Next to a ring and hanging eaves when eternal snow thaw into flowing <coughs> streams let us reconvene oh i see i see <laughs> oh so that's how it is <coughs> i see i've got no clue at all well wow. so much for the optimization i get the very last part at least she's asking you out <laughs> well that's a fancy way to write stuff um, I think Yang Yang loves me. The first part way is like it's about the meaning spot. According to the description, it's somewhere in the Hong Sin. And now, this next sentence. Hmm. Eternal snow thaw into streams. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Maybe it's something to do with local folkloid. Whoa, how did you manage to get all that hidden meaning? Hmm. I experience. Dealt with Genshi's wiles already. But Wait, I said Big Blade? <laughs> no, I should have picked that. That would have funny. Which one exactly was she talking about? We can ask Saban to find out. I've done this before. Uh, makes sense. Lead the way. I got it. Okay, before we meet with her, I guess we're asking uh, people around. In Mortal Blaze? Eh, I mean, sure. Axe the dudes and then ladies last. Why are you called sus? What do you want? I've done nothing wrong. Why are you named suspicious young man? That's kind of weird. Ask about the widow in Chang Li's note. Huh? Oh, you're just asking for directions. <laughs> Sorry. I I'm not a local. Can't help you there. Wait, you, you were the one talking to Lady Chang Li earlier, weren't you? Mm hmm. The young man begins looking about with Lee, as if in fear of something trouble hidden in the shadows. If I were you, I'd steer clear of her. She's a deceitful woman who enjoys toying with people's hearts. A cunning villain who will manipulate you without you even knowing it. How so? <laughs> Haven't you heard? She left her government job to come here, to this small town. There's got to be a reason behind it. I heard she chose to quit her job. But I bet she messed up back in the capital and got demoted here as punishment. <laughs> Not everyone values power and fame. Then I guess you've also been fooled by her looks. That woman will stop at nothing to get what she wants while you remain oblivious to her true intentions. And by the time you catch on, <laughs> you'll already be caught in her trap. Hey, wait a minute. Has she actually achieved anything substantial during her time in Jinzhou? Or did Madame Magistrate just fall for her clever words and let her slack off? You're underestimating Jinshi. <laughs> I say you're underestimating Chang Li's trickery. I heard she tricked that VIP guest of Jin Zhou into going to Mount Firmament. <laughs> just think about how dangerous that place was. 
She must have been afraid of him getting too close to Madame Magistrate and ruining her plans. <laughs> what a sinister woman. Fortunately, that guest was a skilled fighter, and he managed to escape unharmed. I hope you don't mind my frankness. I'm just giving some advice, because you look pretty innocent and uh, gullible. <laughs> Enough from Jinjo, judging by your outfit, right? I am the VIP guest. Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about something I need to do. Sorry, gotta run. Speechless, huh? Huh? You're not gonna run, huh? Okay, um, let's talk to you next, over here. <clears throat> what can I help you with? Except about the will in Jungle Snow. When snow thaw into streams? Ah, uh, you're not from around here, I bet. When we say that in Hangzhen, we mean the Shichen of Wei. Early afternoon, the warmest hours of the day. Legend tells of a visitor who ventured here some centuries ago. Back then, local villagers were struggling with no firewood due to heavy snow. This visitor opened up a path with their forte and diverted a hot spring to provide warmth and aid. People say it was once a stunning sight, with mist and ice flowing westward down the streams, as if many celestial beings were returning to the sea. Now the site has unfortunately disappeared, but the saying sticks. We use it to describe time. Local speech. You're such a great storyteller, like everyone else I met here. Oh, please. I'm only repeating what I've heard from him. He's been on a roll with his stories lately, but let's not take them too seriously. They're just for entertainment. You don't believe in those stories? Not that I don't want to believe, them, but. Oh, you were listening to one of his stories earlier, too, right? Hmm. What did you think? It was a bit too extravagant. Looks like we have that in common. Grandpa Zhou's great grandfather was a descendant of the first inhabitants of Hangzhen. He grew up hearing stories about Mount Firmament. Recently, he heard Madam Magistrate had <coughs> resolved the crisis, so he decided to visit and learn more about his roots. People in town are curious about the outside world and how they are perceived. Grandpa Zhou is happy to answer their questions and has unknowingly become popular among them. Before he knew it, everyone was coming to talk to him. He must be a fan of a storyteller in Jansu. It's funny to hear outsiders describe my hometown, Han Zhen, as mysterious. We're just a normal place with our own quirks, especially lately, with so many people from Jinzhou coming on some kind of expedition. They're obsessed with us. Like we're some kind of ancient relics. Can you believe they actually asked if our pavo plums have magical powers? Time truly is a formidable force. Mm hmm. Now we ask the girls. They go up close to you. Just because why not? It'll be kind of weird. Oh man, I can go too close. Okay. Huh? How did she disappear like that? Wait. Are you that legendary rover who saved Jin Zhou? Yes. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Ask about the villain in Chang Lu's note. Well, you've come to the right person. I'm here to compile a new travel guide for Hong Jin. Next door ring and hanging eaves. Oh, I know where that is. You'll need to stand on the tallest building in Hong Jin to see what you're looking for. The tallest building? It's on the northeast side of the town. Camp They're all standing by him. <laughs> You'll see it once you get there. Say, that person earlier, that was Lady Cheng Li, right? I saw you talking to her. Yes. I can't help but feel envious. I wish I could speak to her like you did, but she refuses to do interviews with the Pioneer Association. Plus, I doubt we have anything in common to talk about anyway. As Master Xuan Miao's disciple, she excels in the arts of politics and diplomacy. Her travels have taken her across the Four Seas. And as Secretary General, she has commanded respect from all who cross her path. Really? Yeah! And she came all the way to Jinzhou to help out Magistrate Jinxi for the sake of peace in Huanglong. 
She's been working tirelessly behind the scenes since then, fully dedicated to her task. How could anyone not revere such a selfless act? Oh, I could have sworn I just saw her. Where did she go? I wish I could take one more look. Are you sure you're just here for the travel guide? Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I think you're obsessed with your tits. Okay, let's look. Hey, why are the people here so divided about Chung Li? Hmm. Hmm, she doesn't seem to have ill intent. Mm. You humans make everything so complicated. Here. Well, at least now we know what she wanted to say. Hmm, let's meet at the highest place in Hangzhen in the earliest early afternoon. <laughs> no, that's much easier to understand. Why does she have to make it a whole riddle? I'm getting sleepy again. I see someone walking towards me from behind. Oh, ma'am. Yes. Nice to see you again. How are you liking Hongzhen so far? Hmm. Hmm. It's much more lively than before. The crisis at Mount Firmament has been resolved. And the waterway between Jinzhou and Hongzhen is open once again. As a result, there has been an increase in visitors from Jinzhou, making the town more lively than before. With mm -hmm. the chaos subsiding, our town and city are now reconnected, allowing residents to live and work in peace. We owe you a debt of gratitude, Rover, for your efforts in clearing the remaining effects of temporal disruptions in Mount Firmament over the past few days. Hmm. Um, that job was a beast. You better have my money. Wait, no, never mind. Could have done it without anyone. We're all indebted to you, Hong Jen, and its people alike. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. I couldn't help but notice you've been asking around. Is there something you need assistance with? Xin Li and Chun Li have a mutual trust as acquaintances. It should be fine to ask Xin Li instead. Well. You tell Xin Yan about the encounter with Chang Ling. I see. That sounds like something Chang Li would do, even though we're not that close. I know a bit about her personality. She wouldn't just hand over something that symbolizes her identity to anyone, especially when. Hmm, especially what? I think it would be better for her to tell you personally. Hmm, okay. The Magistrate's counselor is shrouded in mystery. And her motives are often hard to decipher. When she wants something done, it's never as straightforward as it seems. And few can grasp the true meaning behind her plans. The rumors and controversies surrounding her <coughs> never cease. But she seems unfazed. However, I believe one has to get involved personally to truly understand Chang Li's intentions, regardless of public opinion. Hmm. I'm very curious about her plans. About the riddle. It seems you have already figured it out by yourself. But remember, it's not just about the answer, but also what she wants you to understand. Indeed. Then, if you'll excuse me, if there's anything else you need here in Hongzhen, please do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you. So, tallest building we to find? Is that what you're looking for? Okay, it's actually about somewhere if I'm seeing the map. Uh, tallest building? Are you saying it's... Come on, let me see. That one, huh? Okay. Pass up. Wee -hee Good. There's no time to waste. Okay. Wait, below? What? Next to the wing in the havens? Uh my guess is it's a hill? No! Not hill? Next to the wing. Next to the haven. Do I talk to you about this? No, I do not. I'm gonna stop talking to you. No. Don't gale. So it's actually a wing? Is that what it is? Huh. 
Okay, you guys wait. It could be up here still. I'm gonna give it a shot and see if that's true or not. Um, is it heal? Because there's someone heal. I'm gonna keep going up. See what's up. Let's go up the steam. Oh, that's what I thought the first time. Okay, we found it. A ring, she wrote. Should be this ring-shaped ancient structure, I guess. Wow! It's really huge now that we look at it. Next, hanging eaves. If we look from here... Is it that pavilion? Hmm. It does look quiet. Should be a nice place for meetings. <sighs> Ugh, getting eepy again. That must be the place, then. I'll get going. Ah, so we're going away, down there. One of the walls. I love that for this game. And then, let me grab that. And right here? Seriously? Oh, 315. Okay, I'll change the time. Okay, uh, 333. Okay, these are faster than this waves. Just waiting. Just turn the clocks. 13. Okay, I'm here. Totally didn't sleep here. I'll wait for you. In the morning. Are we playing this? Uh. I see you. Apologies for my delay. Hmm. Uh, it's fine. I just got here too. Boo. Oh, Thank you for Bow. accepting my invitation. <laughs> yeah, I see you. We really love you, riddles. Oh, and what makes you think so? Those tokens from Jinshi. It was your idea, mm, was I'm it not? <laughs> <laughs> so, do, you've guessed it. Sorry, Rover. Jinjo faced multiple threats back then, any, and we had to be cautious. We did not intend to inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. Mm -hmm. mm. It's yeah. more or less oh, used to it by now. Still, I owe you an apology in person. This time... Well, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see you. Oh! A brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken. I think I think she does want to go on a date. And oh my god, am I focusing? I am. I don't very know. Grateful <clears throat> you decided to come. I don't know if I'm looking down or up. The way I'm looking at her, I think she's blushing. I can't tell from her face. Let's cut to the chase. What do you want from me? I merely have a few questions, and I was wondering if you may have the answers. Okay. Does this Tell game of Weichi so look familiar to you, you Rover? I know this game. Oh, we can say yes? Okay. I'm not sure. Apologies. I heard about your memory loss. Please, pardon me. There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have you heard about it? The one I heard in Hongjin. That would be like 190 bill, to be honest. Yes, I have a slightly different version of this tale to share. Centuries ago, okay, go on. a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite Jeez. their age difference, they soon became friends and often played Weichi together. Right. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them, having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket oh, rotting like away. Panicked, he bumped into the weichi board. Well, my Despite fist. the interruption, the visitor remained unfazed. They offered the woodcutter Yo, well, some tea, Jenny, the then guided him Jenny, down the mountain. Ability. She that like me from dangerous temporal disruptions. After that, the visitor disappeared. Many years later, the Taoist cultivator became a legendary hermit guru. 
Upon returning to Mount Firmament in his final years, he reunited with that elusive visitor. My ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. The two resumed their unfinished game. Oh, okay. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces as a oh, final okay. parting oh, gift. You mean this game in front of us? Yes and no. This game is missing the final 20 moves. It is unfinished. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess? Yeah. The story changed over time. Infused with fantasy in each retelling. Okay. But that's kind of how baby, old so. tales go. Slowly losing their truth well? as their Did, past why down. Why use it? What is it on cooldown? Mm. You mean the other folklores may hold some truth too? Precisely. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Okay. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic message. This game record can solve the crisis of time. From what I know, only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, Controlling time is indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma. At least for now. Hmm. This might be an undamaged sample of temporal yeah, mandate. If that is the case, we'll be able to heal the Sentinel's wounds. But our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold my teacher's memories. Not any real value. So I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please join me? Oh, yes. <clears throat> I'll consider it, but what is it for me? If my speculation is correct, yeah, I'm done that guys. game of Weichi may hold clues to your lost memories. Like, Ooh, it, it could it? be, yeah. I just I saw my figure. I aid you in Jeez. any way I can after we return with the record. <clears throat> How does that sound? Hmm. Alright, count me in. You do have a Splendid. Hmm. I'm it's still early. How about we set off first? Now nah, I mean. Very well. Let's meet on the gallery road outside Hongzhen. I still have some preparations to do. Please, go ahead. I'll join you later. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that's beautiful. But anyways, uh, we are going. Hold up. I see other above or below. Now I'll get them. I'll get them off camera. Actually, yeah, she's standing right what? there, beating so. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Rover, you're here. Okay. Well, inspecting you to arrive before me. Well, as the wayfinder, I do know a couple of shortcuts. I trust you'll guide me well, Miss Wayfinder. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely location on Whoa. my last visit. Just take your time. Just we'll do, be heading there. Just do like tap, 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 tap. New. That's surprisingly straightforward, magazine. especially coming from you. After dealing you with those artificers, I, I ruled out the other locations on my way to join you. But one can only do so much alone. This is why I need your help. Hmm. <sighs> God, don't accept a challenge for it time to time. How reliable. Then let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna go that way. I'm guessing. <laughs> what is it? Chen Li? What is it? Nothing, Rover. I just thought I the snow is beautiful today. Yeah, it does. High yeah. in a cold. Oi! I'm curious about that ancient structure. It looks familiar. Like the abandoned court of Savante facility I saw. But 
bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared along with our Sentinel. Later, the court of Savante based their Chronos orders on its design. Anyways, I was saying, uh, I bet your nipples are hard, poking underneath. Anyway, let's keep going. It's peaceful, but there are enemies warming around here, so we gotta be careful with that. Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow, hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. Mm -hmm. Did you try it too, Chung Li? Bro, I couldn't see! No. I only watched from afar. Ah, dude, blood chickens. My forte always melted the snow faster than I liked. Okay, so we'll go inside here. That's what it looks like. I tried to speak with that shit. <clears throat> nope. What is that avatar's face, bro? I'm going to walk in this way. That's an amazing view right there. It is my style, to be honest. We can see the whole of Hongzhen from here. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. How did it change? I don't know. Maybe it's because... Your presence makes me feel at ease. Is that so? Wait! I smell tacit discords in that cave. No, there's more. Tacit discords, humans, and... Smells Abby? Like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Ugh, it's so familiar. Hmm, how could there be any tacit discord in my... in my minute? been through you still don't trust my sniffer huh be grateful i'm giving you a warning rover did something happen hmm tacit discord could be assaulting people over there i do see the vision flowing it's in the same direction we're going could it be let's go take a look strange abby you gave us something useful it's like, you're welcome! I'm gonna go to sleep. <coughs> well, Abby, you're just gonna sleep like that? Damn, okay. Signs of climbing. Someone may have been here before. Most likely. Let's climb up. How do you climb up your heels without slipping off of accident? I thought you were getting fucked. A voice, um. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, I don't even have her yet. Let me help. You have a gun. That's a pistol. That sucks ass, kind of. The swinging. Ooh. Look at that. Damn, girl. Look at that. Oh. Okay. You okay, sir? Whoa. Alfred was burning. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Are you all right? I, I got. I'm okay. No legendary. Wait. You. Are you the rover? How do you know no, me? I got a fucking epic. You're that hero who fought against the Stronodian. And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate. Everyone's been talking about you. And Lady Chung Li. I, I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. So you better look up, not down my tits. Without your help, oh shit, I'd have been I'm a goner for sure. I can't die here. Not when I've got someone waiting for me. I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. Hmm. Take it easy. Everything's all right. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain is still restricted. Before entering the mountain, 
Any explorer must submit a request and can only do so while accompanied by the Midnight Rangers. Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I... I heard about Mount okay. Formament's legend, okay. so I came to find its secret. I've only been in the mountain for half a day. Everything was going smoothly before those monsters pounced on me on my way back. <coughs> I must get back. Okay, I just, I just She's still waiting for me. Hmm. Mm, it doesn't look like he's only been here for half a day. It seems so he's still hiding milk, 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 something milk, milk, from us. Milk, 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 milk. What the fuck? He needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Times against us. Hmm. Something feels strange about this place. Definitely. Indeed. Just that Tacit discords in. appearing yeah. in such yeah. numbers on Mount Firmament of all places. I see one with those too. This is unusual, to say the yeah, least. We can continue oh, our conversation later. After getting him to safety. Say, do fix this? Our On that mind, note, just, we still like don't know his identity. Done. Judging oh, from his on. uniform, he might be affiliated with the Pioneer Association. He mentioned someone's waiting for him. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Could be his friend or an acquaintance. Could be Good the point, Rover. Let's head back. Gonna kill you. Damn, he's heavy. Oh, she probably sees something. You take the adventurer in coma and return to Hongjin with Changling. How the fuck did I get up there? Don't want to ask. I'm going to ask my one. Uh, okay, let's start with you. Isn't that Wu Li? What happened to him? Do you know him? Mm, not really. He showed up in town and started asking weird questions to all the older folks. They've been avoiding him ever since. The secret of immortality. I found it. Oh, he really went up the mountain, didn't he? Oh my. Quick, get him to a doctor. You no. Dumbass. Okay. I'm fine. Go find Fu Ling. Sir, do you know where his companions might be? I'm not sure. There are lots of other people in town who are dressed just like him. Why don't you try asking them? We will. Thanks for the tips. Oh, well, she came around while Shang Sun is just carrying him too as well. You next. His companions? Um, sorry, I joined the association not long ago. I don't really know them. His gear, though? These are last year's designs. Perhaps you should go ask Yoning. She's been a member for quite some time. She might know him. Yoning's just up ahead. Yeah, I see her. Hey, ma'am. You see this idiot? Like, oh my god, yes I do. Whoa. Uh, uh, greetings, Lady Chung Lia. Um, she's not there. She's a ghost. Uh, how may I help you today, Lady Chung Lia? Oh, and hello, Rover. <laughs> uh, the person on your back. Is he okay? We found him on Mount Firmament. Do you know where his companions might be? Isn't this Wu Li? What happened to him? He was attacked by a tacit discord. He's still unconscious. He's one of the Pioneer Association's explorers, but we don't see him around Jinjo too often. I remember he went on sabbatical months ago, and he left with Fu Ling. Fu Ling? Yes, Fu Ling, his girlfriend. Oh! I think they're visiting Hongjian together. They're staying at the inn over there. Oh, Fu Ling asked us about his whereabouts not long ago. She seemed quite worried. Speaking of, is he really okay? Perhaps we should get him to a hospital first. No, I'm not going. Fu Ling. She's waiting for me. Don't worry. We'll help you find Fu Ling. Is she not in the inn? Eh, who knows. Oh, the hospital's like down here. <laughs> oh no, there's a hotel in mine. She's right there. See? She's right there sitting down. My goodness. 
She's like, oh, where's my boyfriend? I want to suck his dick so bad. Oh, there he is! No oh, towards boy. you. I wasted my fucking I... time putting his head over there. <coughs> Breathe. Take it easy. <coughs> Thank you. I'm okay now. Who are you? And Wooly, is he? You must be fooling? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, Can okay. you please tell me what happened? Fooling. But he's like, hmm? Wooly, you're hurt. I've been looking for you. You didn't pick up my calls. Great news, Fooling. I found it. Finally, I found a way to slow down your illness. No more pain, my love. We can finally be together. You mean that legend? Just do five more and you're done. It's That's real? How, where the quest is. Fooling. Are you... Are you not happy? No, I am. I I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> he just failed at my god. Wooly. This man wouldn't say. You can't insult in a cause of will to doctor to treat his injuries. Thank you, Rover, Lady Chung Lee. You saved his life. I'm glad he's okay. May I please ask, <laughs> what on earth happened? I've never seen Wu Li like that. Well... <sighs> and then we found you. So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Oh, fuck. Was that not the case? Yo, tell it. Something. No. I I've been... I've been waiting for almost a week. It's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days down. when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. If it weren't for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. What's the obsession with the mountains? Wooly, he... He did it for me. I used to work as a landscape painter. Wu Li and I met through work, and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. Wu Li stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. Until two weeks ago, when he brought me to Hong Zhen, said he had a surprise for me. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip, but he disappeared for seven days. And now he's back rambling about having found a way to stop my condition from progressing. He was saying about the legend. Mount Firmament's secret of immortality, I presume? Yes. Wu Li told me that he's researched and found an untouched paradise on Mount Firmament. A place where time stands still. He said if I lived there, the my condition would like, never worsen. It, it, it cannot fully cure me. But at least we can oh, spend eternity wait. together. At first I thought it was just a myth. But then you brought up how he only spent well, half a day in I the mountains. He may have wanted to temple all your disruptions. Those were my thoughts as well. But Wu Li seemed very certain. Well, Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However, thanks to Magistrate Jinshi and Rover, these disruptions have been dealt with. Or so we had hoped. Looks like we, there uh, might still be some of them. So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the mountains. And unfortunately, Wu Li has stumbled upon one, mistaking it for the legendary cure he was searching for. Little did he know it would only put him in more danger. I see. So that's why there were rumors of rangers being here to take care of the leftover tacit discords and block off access to the mountain. Then, if this temporal disruption you speak of is truly so dangerous rover lady chung lee please help us get rid of it for the sake of everyone here but your friend he truly thinks it's the only way to save you boyfriend 
I mean, willing to take a slim chance just for you. I freezing my own time. I don't think I should do that. It's not my best option. I appreciate your concerns, but I'll be fine. Dreams always come to an end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> what? Oh, I'm okay. I haven't talked this much in a long time. Hmm. Uh, you need to rest. I'm just a little tired. I'll be fine what? after some rest. Once Wooly wakes up, I'll explain everything to him. If you have any My other God. ideas, just tell him. But if you keep it all to yourself, no one, even those closest to you, will know how you really feel. Yes, I understand. Rover, things are taking a turn. We should probably tell Lady Xing Yi first. Indeed, let's go. Damn, well, some of these games would have girlfriends and boyfriends while me, the main character, doesn't have one. You can ask Yang Yang, why not? We are going up in the walls. Oh, I should go around. Oh, wait, never mind. Nope, never mind. Hey! Okay! Just jump. Um, ma'am? Hello? <laughs> what the hell just happened to me? Okay, we're fine. Uh, ma'am, we need to speak. So, oh! You're here in person? Yes, that's right. Alright, let's go. Let's get started. Let's keep talking. What brings you here at this time of the day? There's been a bit of an incident. You explain the events that has transpired. I see. Strange appearances of tacit discords in the mountains. And undiscovered temporal disruptions. There are several questionable details according to Rover's description. Yeah. What do you make of Fu Ling's words from earlier, Rover? About what happened to Wu Yi. Wooly? Is that his name? He claimed to have spent only half a day in the mountains, but it's been seven days since he returned to Hongzhen. That does sound like some kind of temporal disruption. One that wasn't strong enough to affect Hongzhen. Mm -hmm. After Jinxi's battle with the Sentinel, she ordered Midnight Rangers to patrol Hongzhen and inspect Mount Firmament for any lingering temporal disruptions before reopening it to the public. Rover, you've been exploring the mountains lately, so I'm sure you have a good grasp on Mount Firmament. But if there are any hidden disruptions we missed... Hmm... Uh... It must have... It must have appeared after wolves entered the mountains. Precisely. Yet... Why did it reappear at this point? Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with Wu Wooly. Fu Ling's legend differs from the situation at Mount Firmament we're familiar with. In that tale, mortals were spared the cost of losing years from their lives. He was utterly convinced of his discovery. And he somehow managed to run into temporal disruptions in half a day's time. Also, when I questioned him, he evaded my inquiries. He was hiding something. Yeah, we saw it, we see it. Lies that are most challenging to detect aren't usually outright falsehoods. Rather, they hide parts of the truth. The explorer wanted to save his friend, indeed, yeah, well, but he was also hiding something. Maybe I try. I've become rather curious about the truth behind so this temporal disruption. About fooling a t attitude towards all of this. Did you notice something, Rover? Hmm. She seemed to reality a little too quickly. For someone with a terminal illness, they should hold on to any chance of survival, no matter how slim. Is that what you think? Maybe she's come to terms with her destiny. Or maybe she never planned on continuing to live like that forever. Chang Li? <laughs> well, please pardon my baseless speculations. About the um, anomalies in the area. 
I knew you'd notice too. The frequency disturbance here is weak. It's similar to past temporal disruptions at Mount Firmament, but not exactly the same. Master Xuanmiao's records show that this is where the game record last appeared. This is also where we found that explorer. As Chang Li mentioned, this anomaly may indeed have something to do with that legendary game record. Hmm, the complete Temple of Pogam is in the game record. Xbox player. Exactly. If this were to be the case, then we are not the only ones searching for its whereabouts. The explorer did not tell us about his source of information. Nope. But his knowledge of Mount Firmament far exceeds that of a first-time visitor. You mean... Hmm. Hmm. We need more information. Let's not act rashly. Got it. The Midnight Rangers will block all entrances to the mountain for now. And Chang Li? You still have the power to send in garrison troops as needed. We left Mount Firmament in a hurry. I need to go back up the mountain and investigate further. I have some theories that could use confirmation. This platform move? We're still unsure about the exact location and range of the temporal disruption. Regardless, Yo! its reappearance is a pressing issue that, so that needs our long? attention. I'm coming with you. It may get dangerous. Hmm. I have fulfilled my promise yet. Well then, Hello. thank you, Rover. Thank you again for your help. You were supposed to be here for a relaxing time. But it seems another crisis has popped up. I know. Do take extra caution. What's your break? Uh, and relax. After this is over, see that boss with tail? That's a new um, enemy bar that's so easy to take down, but I'm not gonna fight it. Nah, probably gonna save for another episode. We will heal earlier, do the story quest. Let's go forward. Now, this does look different from what I see in the background during the cutscene. Like right now. now, investigate the surroundings. Sure, why not? Uh, investigate the nose. First note reading. Here we. Oh my god, a lot of reading. I would read this like I did before, but you know what? I'm not gonna bother with anything. That's like, unless it's not a lot, then I will probably read the next one. Yeah, I'll read this one. It's not a bad idea. The dearest Wilu. How are you? I wonder if you still continue on adventure if you need to read these words. You visit several places on our last of features adventures. I entirely picked them under the guise of seeking treatment of my illness, as you may have noticed. I wish I could go with you, Wilu. I have many days left, but I trust you'll find and enjoy the wonders we once dreamed of sharing. We travel through Dryasland, but this thing lies we bring from devastating and monetizing and eventually moments for the wilder audience to savory. In the world scared by the limitless beauty and hope priest spotted anew from the depths of despair. This is our quest, and I hope you can carry this essence with you as your journey unfolds. Our adventures may have always been shared with companions. We met, journeyed together for the time, and eventually developed our separate paths. Perhaps we will not on our next escape bait. Or perhaps destiny will guide us and deserve within infinity. The bravery to explore and forge ahead will forever reside with us. This truth holds for our past journeys and for the ones ahead of for you. The day will eventually come when we must bid each other's farewell, just as it will when our past cost was more. So, my love, please continue your journey and carry out just a push into our future. With all of my love, for now it has become quite clear what the two were thinking. Hmm, so this is what she had her on her mind. I had my speculation. Fooling has come to terms with her impending death. She doesn't buy into the legends of immortality. Instead, she simply wants to make the most of the time she has left and fulfill her and Wu Li's dreams together. If Wu Li wants to reach well, that so-called paradise, he'll be trapped inside forever. It also means he'll have to give up his entire future as an explorer. That is not what she wants for him. Her ultimate desire is for her lover to embrace her inevitable passing, and to realize the joint aspirations they hold in her place. She hasn't given up but rather clings to hope for their future. Oh, 
even if she won't be there to see it unfold. Would you make the same choice if it had happened to you? Hmm? <laughs> Why the sudden question? You seem to understand fulfilling deeply. I'm just making an educated guess from what we've collected. And honestly, fooling isn't exactly good at keeping things to herself. Let's stay focused on the issue. While the diary is cryptic, it still exposes the true intentions of whoever misled Wu Li. It's no coincidence. All the clues point to a correlation between the temporal disruption and the legends of the Wei Qi game. Or maybe someone's trying to make us connect the dots. Since the facets already know so much about the Sittel. Yes. Information on the actual powers of Ju. What? I was fucking this killing it. This isn't the kind of information an ordinary explorer can obtain. I was killing it. And I guess I our did. old friends have still not given up. They went to great lengths just to lead us here. It would be rather rude of us to not respond in some way. According to the information in my master's notes and Wu Li's map, the place we're looking for should be just ahead. My fail? Really? So it's... Uh, oh, it is. Okay. Let's keep exploring forward. Oh. Is that? The chaotic temporal disruptions are even clearer to see. Uh, when I, I was so like that? Time. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's the else. Okay, never mind. That always is off camera. This the OG shit. That was this. Traces of excavation like on the ground. I'm not Looks like someone was trying to side. dig a hole with their bare hands. Could it be Wooly? This yeah, is a Weichi board. Could have been able to do with the game, but could? The abnormal time flow here is most likely caused by the Chronosorters. Perhaps there is a way to fix it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's touch it. <laughs> to fate. Let's back up. <laughs> One more time. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at. Oh, what people? Um. Okay, you know what? Let's start with you. Marvelous play. Truly remarkable. Never oh, I my bad. I was trying to turn. Great game of that does look like me. What the hell? <laughs> you may look young, my friend, but there's so much more to you than meets the eye. Please, no need to be so modest. I can tell the difference between our skill levels. In the watch of the past. This is my master's voice. The voice of the other person seems deliberately erased. Master... Young male? Who do you think the other person looks like? This person looks like... Me? Charlie seems to be in deep does and does not answer. It does! The hairline, the hair... And the body, well, it, looks, it looks... It does. Look look at it, look at it. Let me snap between, because why not? <laughs> it, it looks kind of awkward how I'm doing this. Okay, I'm trying to get in the... Middle of the conversation. Awesome. There you go. Like you're talking it to me. It has been decades <laughs> since last we met, but you, my friend, still look the same. Well, turns out I had already met you all those years ago. My lifesaver. And you're older than me. No! I should have been more respectful back then. So you remember our promise. I am. Overjoyed. A new city is about to be established. Having accomplished so much, why do you choose to retire now? I may have spoken out of turn. If you're not in a rush to depart, Jinjo, how about another round of Wei Chi with me? <laughs> it's like it's going to be directly. Okay, I'm gonna walk towards this one because why not? All right. <coughs> well played. Even after twenty years, I still have no chance of winning against you. That is mine, but fuck you. 
I barely noticed how so much time has passed. Every move in Wei Chi is fluid and unpredictable. Even if we start with the same opening, or the outcome can never be predetermined. We see this in our game. And it's true for all the lives out there. My clan are a group of hermits. We view the world as a game of strategy, manipulating the ebb and flow behind the scenes. Oh, but you, my friend, chose to enter the game yourself. It's a dangerous path with no end in sight. Oh, I want to help, but my time is running out. I won't be there when you finally succeed. Oh, please don't feel sad for me. If I die, it would be an honor to rest at the Sentinel's feet. When the time comes, the one who shall finish this game of Wei Chi with you will not be me, but rather my apprentice. Or do my plans seem too risky to you? There's no need for concern. With her intelligence and quick thinking, she'll surely be able to solve this puzzle. The results of this game will decide the fate of Ginger. And even the entire world. The road ahead is long and treacherous. Our final game. Let's make it. Oh, I was talking about her, Changling. Okay. Are we doing this? Uh, Changling, do you see this? And he's gone. Oh, it glows. Mars is shining. Oh, okay. We've been followed. You've come this far and followed us here. Yet you hesitate to reveal yourselves. Guess I'll have to take the lead and extend an invitation. Don't assume you'll always be in control, Chung Li. Hmm, enough talk. Our friendly chat is over. It's time to say goodbye. Fuck. Yep, we're going to murder you one by one. Everybody, let's go. Okay, there I am. Still not giving up yet, Chung Li. Hey. We know more than that unfinished game. We are well aware of the price you have paid. You're dangling at the end of your rope. Your unwitting yeah. trail has led us straight to our target. Um, what do you mean by that? So. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Charlie! Alt! Oh, you almost dead. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, the level 80s. Oh, there's still more of you? Oh, fuck off. Yeah, let's go. Slapping you and stabbing. <laughs> oh, you're still standing fast? <laughs> hey, I see the distance. Don't act like I don't see you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. You. Huh? What? Left? What do you mean? He's not dead! Don't aim for the boobas! Hey! Why are you so far away? Hold up! There you go. I'm like, wait a minute. A boy, though. The Sonoro Sphere is open. Go! Oh, great. Stop them! Sorry. 
But you're Fish. not getting past me. Jue's formidable time bending abilities at their peak. All trapped within this Sonoro sphere. As I'm sure you are well aware. It's only a legend. Do you really want to chase after this legend when you don't even know if it's real? So what? Wouldn't it be a sight to behold as this Sonoro sphere consumes everything in its path while the temporal disruptions bring death? You're out of your mind. Anyway, Why do they always Rover, do this to me? I admit that looks nice. Thank you for letting us into this Sonoro sphere. You are indeed very special, as the Excellency foretold. Let's go! Whoa. Oh, we'll just push him out of the way. Voice chat? Huh? You're slow, dude. He squished your head like nothing happened! <laughs> okay, we're inside. No sign of the Fraxidus. <laughs> Chung Li's nowhere to be seen. I need to find her quick. Um, ma'am? No. Don't come any closer. What? <gasps> what? She became a child? No, that is not right. Hey, that's so much a child. Okay. Oh, Are you okay? Can you stop looking down? Oh shit, I, I'm fine. Hi. It's my forte. I'm used to it. You stay away from me. Oh, you'll get burned. Nah, I can't huh, her childhood. Okay, I will move. So relax. Minutes? This village was attacked by tacit discords. There's nothing left. Why did you come here? No one but the exiles are willing to stay here now. Hmm. You shouldn't be here. That's clearly Chang Gling right there. I won't say her name. Bad person? I'm not. I'm looking for someone. I know. That's what all bad people say. Whatever you're looking for, there's nobody here but me and the tacit discords. Hmm. When I'm here, no one's afraid of me, and I won't hurt anyone. Anyway, you should hurry up and leave. It's not safe for you to be here. Hmm. She looks just like Chung Li. Mirages in a Sonora sphere shouldn't be able to hold a conversation like this. Is she a younger version of Chun Li? Huh? Whatever the case, I can't leave her alone. Why did you stop talking? Are you lost? I can't help fucking Can you help me out of this place? I can take you somewhere safe. I know a shortcut that leads to a safer village. <laughs> Reach out to her. <gasps> I'm wearing gloves, see? Thank you. Ah, oh, I'm burning! I'm just kidding, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, does clear her. Look at the hell. Okay, hold up a sec. Is there any chest over here? <gasps> huh? Um, is this good or this bad I'm touching? I don't know. Good. There's no time hold on. Um, is there... Hey, look at this piece. Hmm. Okay, those two actually. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. <gasps> no, I can't do it. No, I was to wait a minute. Was there something like this here before? Oh, shit. These mechanisms, they need to be unlocked from both sides at once. Oh, I okay, guess. let's each handle one side. I'll go over there. Oh, okay. Look like okay. I did a fuss. Open gate. I'm it's being a girl. Oh, where'd she go? She just disappeared. 
Oh. Oh, what the? I don't know. This place seems a bit different from what I remember. I don't know. Unfrozen. Oh, I knew it. But that one. Okay, I don't know. Okay, swing at them. Keep swinging. And boom! Yeah, I'm strong. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Okay. Go swing at them. Okay. Oh, you're trying to shoot down from you? Nope. Nick! Trying to shoot down. I didn't say. Damn, I'm trying to shoot him down. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, I shouldn't be touching those. Oh, you're gone. Huh. Hold up a sec. Okay, only those moved. Okay. Then, what was that over there we just saw? That's being blocked. Oh, I see a ball. These are... The villagers. Attacked by tacit discords. They have already. Why? There weren't any of them here before. Don't worry. My forte is strong. I will get rid of them and protect you. Oh, uh, my girls are with me? <laughs> okay. We just saw a path right there, so let's grab <laughs> that one. But we also think that are we able to. Uh, from a distance, though, we disappeared. Oh, it won't disappear. Let's toss it. Oh, nice. Look at that. What the? Double explosion? Do we gotta do it again? Oh, what now? Enemies? Tacit discords. Watch out! Oh, I toss this one. Oh, I missed. Okay. And boom! Oh, oh, big boy! You see that, people? It's going towards us very slowly. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Yeah, no mercy. Fuck them. Now take this. Oh, thanks for flashing me every time. Oh, that's why. Getting your ass kick. By a half sexy elf that people masturbates. And I won though, right? Ooh, watch that, watch it. Okay. Okay. Keep doing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. watch that, watch that, watch that. Now you be okay, okay. We gotta heal our team. Ooh, you missed. Is this more Tazzy School or is that it? Okay, what's next? Well, I'm gonna go back just to heal myself now. You. Why did you. Hmm. Leave the fine to me, you're injured. Okay. Don't worry. I won't hold you back. Yeah, I got a sword, okay? With my girls. Ooh. You people see it. Boom. It's like, what the hell is this dude? Oh, uh, <laughs> poke the way in, because why not? Oh, the frozen, you see that? The village I lived in got destroyed by those scary monsters. They hid me in a safe basement. While everyone else died or ran away. No one except me made it out alive. When I came out, no one was there anymore. No. I must get to somewhere safe. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. You're not alone anymore. Okay. Ah, <sighs> got it. Okay. We got that, and ooh, what's this? There's a piece of paper. It has turned yellow. When the villagers waited, I failed to protect anyone with all my effort. Now that I'm left with these old injuries and the rest of my unmanaged life, and some food to spare for anyone who passed by. Oh, if I had arrived sooner. It's not your fault. <sighs> okay. Yeah, look what we found so far. Now, are you gonna move forward or are you just gonna. Yeah, you're falling behind me. That's good. Ugh. Mechanism. Oh, come on. Um, ma'am? Oi, little... Chung Lee. Hold on a sec. Whoa. Did you find something? I found some dry rations. They look well kept. Should be still edible. 
Oh, it's a bit frozen. No worries. I can use my fire to heat it up. Are you hungry? I haven't seen you take a single bite. You can have these. I'm. Um, thank you. I'm not hungry. If you don't eat anything for too long, you won't be able to walk. I ate sleep earlier, okay, ma'am? Um. What can I feel? Okay. Um, stand device. Stand right there. And I'll stand right here. Ooh. Forward. Come forward! Come on, I said come forward. <laughs> oh my god, I was being scary. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll stand. You go send me there. Okay. Uh, unless it's cl what the hell's going on here? That's some big cheese piece we gotta go through. Oh, okay, we're gonna fight that thing. Oh, we saw this earlier, guys. We're gonna fight this thing. This would be interesting. More tacit discords. That was very interesting. Okay. Woo! Okay, I should have dodged. <gasps> I'm not dodging. Okay, I should have dodged. Yeah. <gasps> oh, show HP. That doing so good. Oh, this game big. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay, do this. Is it up? Do this. Oh, you're picking up a big sword! Okay, gonna watch it. And boom. Okay, heal! And do that. Oh, you're almost dead, but we're healing. You die now! What you learn? Oh my god! Thank goodness. Is this the key to that door? I look at that toast. Yes. And those tacit discords just devoured the frequencies of the guard on door duty. Like, hmm. How could you see us? Or oh, is that a tacit discord looking at us between the beha? Mm hmm yeah, why not? Okay, open the gate. Open uh, Sessa What? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> Your hands. It might look kinda of scary, but actually it doesn't hurt at all. Are you sure? Of course. I'm a resonator too, you know. My forte is a powerful one. I control fire. Nothing's brighter and warmer than fire. It can burn away the cold and drive away monsters. But the fire could burn yourself too. That's because I don't know how to properly control it yet. The resonator who taught me about my forte said, if I don't use it properly, I'll die young. They also said a lot of things I couldn't understand. Told me I shouldn't use it too often. But if I don't use my forte, I'd get eaten by the tacit discords or killed by the bad people. What's the point of living a longer life if I can't even survive? I want to live. I want to become a strong grown-up. I want to have good one control of my one. power and protect the people who protected me in the past. And then... How stupid are you? And then... Jeez. I'll make a peaceful and prosperous world for everyone. <sighs> That's a respectable goal. Yes. According to the village teacher, that means children will no longer be in danger from monsters. We'll all have enough to eat and stable lives. But I've still got lots to learn. So, I'll need to find someone really strong and learn from them. You will find a great mentor. And you'll become very strong yourself. Thank you. I want to become as strong as you are. Sure, but promise me. Pause you'll take good care of yourself and don't be a pussy, okay? I understand. I'll do my best. <laughs> what a strange place. Oh, I know Most these. I've done these off camera. There, but there are so many things I've never seen before. I've done this puzzle this off camera. Door. Uh huh. I don't know why, but 
I keep getting the feeling that I've been here before. That's it. It's so weird. Well, okay. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find something. Yeah, I already, I already doing it. You don't have to tell me twice about it. What's your view? Ooh. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Hmm, perhaps I don't trust those around. Hey, it's her. Charlene! Hey! Oh my god! I have to find large tits! God damn! Of course, some go like that. Is she back with me? A mirage of the past. This place. It looks familiar too. These are my memories, recreated inside this sonorosphere. As I stepped inside, both Rover and the Fraxidus vanished into thin air. Frequencies are constantly changing. And the flow of time is chaotic. Just like it had been on Mount Firmament. A sonorosphere affected by temporal disruption. Once someone enters, there's risk of being stuck inside forever. And if my master had planned all of this, did he do this to mislead? To separate? Or perhaps I should be careful. Whatever the case, I must find Rover first. We're here too, but we're separated. Okay, we're actually together though. That's kind of weird. Like Rover. Oh, I gotta enjoy her heels clicking while she's walking and bouncing. But I gotta focus on this too. Damn, look at these kids. I'm starving. That's her speaking. Oh, this thing. If I burn it a bit with my fire, I can eat it, I guess. Enemies. Okay. Come out, you fox. I'll fight you hell if I have to. I thought these earlier are the same thing. What the hell? Yeah, hell attack styles are so. Oh, she does lose some HP though. Gotta be careful with that. Gotta be careful. Okay, do this. We don't have a healer. That's good. Embracing the change. Take this bitch. Who's the caged bird now? Oh, nice. Beautiful. Keep swinging at this. Boom. Oh, we almost gone. Puppet demolish you. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be beating her because she's a trial killer. Why not? Burn this. Like I'm putting out of here. No, keep moving forward. Huh? Do we have circles? Wait. So using your arms, not the sword. I mean, she kind of does though, actually. Interesting fighting style. Not gonna learn that. Shiny. Shiny. Oh, the way she said it. Yeah. Came out back. Can I walk still jogging? Please wait. My dear, you've come all this way. What do you need from me? I I am y you gave me some food before. I haven't thanked you yet. 
You misunderstood my intentions. When I sought shelter in your hideout during the rain, I gave you rations as a small token of thanks. No need to be troubled by it, little one. But... But you told me... The path to safety lies in embracing fortuitous moments. I didn't understand what you meant by that. Well, uh, I only said those words on a mere whim. Never expected you to remember them so clearly. I've heard Master Xuanmiao is a wise hermit guru who helps people. Can you maybe take me as your apprentice? I've been searching for you for so long. Please, will you consider it? I want to live. Learn to control my power and become stronger. Or I won't see a peaceful and prosperous world. Do you know what defines a peaceful and prosperous world? I think... I think it means people can take care of themselves and... Have a place to call home. <sighs> I... I'm a resonator too. I have a strong forte. Look! Is this... Flame manipulation? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, going forward. <sighs> Such a fearful power. Oh, look at you, Fox. It may engulf you in return. Without proper guidance, you will eventually be reduced to ashes. Alas, perhaps this is fate. Scary as he says that. I can teach you how to control your power, but in this world of ups and downs, relax. If you long for a peaceful and prosperous world, you must utilize your own intellect to choose, strategize, and shape the future you desire. Okay. Keep walking forward. Come over, child. Yeah, keep walking forward. You bear the powers of flame manipulation. Damn, she's just catwalking. One that shall bring peace to this world. Okay. From this day on, your name will be Chung Li. Ooh. That needs internal flame. Okay. I see. Do you have to go, Master? Ooh. My time in this world is up, my child. I have my own destination to head to. I can only accompany you so far on this journey. Are you going to a dangerous place alone? Why can't I go with you? Well, it's not your turn to go there yet, Chang Li. You are a very gifted child, and you will surely achieve greatness one day. But the price you pay for forcefully employing your forte can never be erased. Oh, your lifespan is doomed to be much shorter than that of ordinary people. Yes, I understand. Remember what I have taught you. Ponder carefully, plan meticulously, and shield yourself wisely. For when you have grown into the person you aspire to become, your impact on this world shall be great. Chang Li will remember your teachings by heart, Master. But Master, this person you want me to find, how should I find them? When the time comes, you will know, and you will have my aid. You need only use your wisdom to offer that person some necessary guidance. 
He is the only one who can truly change this world. You must find and help him. Talking about me, Volvo, right? Way. The world of prosperity you seek will soon be within reach. I believe I've found that person, Master. This Ouija board and the Sonoro Sphere. They are both a puzzle and an answer. The end of the Sonoro Sphere. Turns out it's exactly where he is. It's right here. Wova. I gotta do this too. Man, no problem. I guess this is another riddle from my master. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, sure, I'll do this. Well, here's the thing, though. Um. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I mean, I mean to voltate this. Is that a good spot? Hmm. I might have to change this spot actually. I think I should. Make it fast. Um. Hold on. Do I press F on this or T? Oh yeah, I do. Wait, no, 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 no. F F F. Okay, T this out. Um, and place it right here. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We'll take. There you go, there you go. I was trying to do that. Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. Got to push it do, push it do. Stack him there. Oh, the fuck, and there we go. A no, puzzle. Oh, no, uh, connect. No. You go, uh, you do I now see each other? Do I now see Wolfa? That's a dumb doge. Hey, look at that light. That's Wolver. <gasps> Are you okay? something but it's all just a blur I can't make out any clear images I've been looking for something for a long long time why are you looking for it? I don't know I just remember that it's very very important something that can change the world but I'm starting to wonder why I'm even here Everything looks so different from what I remember. And why do you look so familiar? We've never met before. Hmm. Is this the effect of the topoidal disruption too? Hmm. Hmm. Like what the hell just happened? Is this a missing part of the device? We might be able to open that door with it. What will we find behind that door? Eh, probably you in the future. Like, oh god! Maybe it's what you're looking for. Yeah. I hope so. I won't get this done. <laughs> in one episode. I mean, most of these compare missions, they're not that long, so I'm gonna do it one episode. Ooh, I do see a chest, so I'm gonna grab it. Let me grab the chase. Okay, maybe touch this. Not bad. Found okay. Any keepers? We got the key, right? This is way out. Oh, by light. Ah. <sighs> what the A hell? A scheme might be grander than naught. Vanquish malevolence in its nascent guise. Master. Chun Li, you have done well. 
Now that you have found the answers you seek, it is time to begin your journey. From this moment on, the choices you make and the plans you lay out, they will all lead to that future. Oh, what the? Oh, what? Hey, where are we going? And now they kiss. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Do I also touch that? <laughs> this place. It, it, it's a trap. They played us. They didn't say the whole thing. Oh, oh you're dead. I'm gonna fight right now? Seriously? I want to escape! Seriously? Ah, uh, ho, 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 look at that. Watch help. Oh, you scratched me a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you know what? I need to take out. You go ahead. What was that? I should have done the trial thing. I'm just saying here? Nice! Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Ow! Motherfucker! Seriously? No, screw you! Take this! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's always ready. Do that. Do that. Shock him up. Yeah, finish him off! Oh, you're not dead? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Oh, man, seriously? That's some bullshit right there. That's some bullshit, honestly. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, 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 oh! I gotta start healing. She is not fine. She is not fine. You gotta heal. You know, I'm gonna stop this for a while. I'm gonna use my other people. Oh, right on time. Nice. You just stand there like an idiot. Okay. Why are you even here in the first place, dude? Yeah, freeze, freeze, freeze up. Okay. Nice. Burn up. Who's the caged bird now? What's next? You got heal again? I swear to God, heal again a second time. There you go. You're about to smack me, aren't you? No, you can't freeze me. Uh, went for the head like Legend of Zelda. Ooh, went for the back. Okay. What? Oh, come on, really? I'm gonna find more of you. He's like, watch this. Oh, nice, nice view. Why am I holding my hand? Like, become my wife. <laughs> Don't you want me? <laughs> the way I'm holding her. And I am freezing up though. Oh god. <gasps> Are we about to kiss? The way she's holding me down. Never mind, she don't want it. Don't worry. What is happening though? This game is almost over. I missed one. What 
Those are across. The hell? Are we back where we are now? Can you feel it? It's warm. Doesn't hurt at all. <gasps> See? Come on, hold hands. <laughs> it looks. Aww, it's like with couples who will hold me hands. I actually miss when he's with the Ying Yang mostly. It's so beautiful. We're back. We're back. It's over. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes. Thank you for your help. The Midnight Rangers have successfully apprehended all remaining Fraxidus members in the mountains. And the effects of the temporal disruption have now vanished. I lost all contact with you during this whole time. Did you run into any trouble? Tell Xinya what happened. Like, yeah, so all this should have been. Temporal happened. disruption hidden inside a sonorosphere. It makes sense now why it stayed hidden for so long. I never thought the solution would be to burn down the entire sonorosphere from the inside. You went too far back there, Chang Li. Chang Li, about your condition. I know my limits. Rover, Lady Chang Li. How are you feeling? Is it bad? I'm guessing. Wu Li is fine now, thanks to his doctor's help. As for me, oh well. At least I can still walk a bit. After all, it's been almost five days. So it's already been five days? I never properly thanked you for bringing me back to Hangzhen. I heard about the attack by the Fraxidus in the mountains. I... I'm so sorry. No need for that. I understand. The Fraxidus had their eyes on the same thing we did. They've been planning an ambush on us for a long time. Why would we blame it on you? We will never forget how you saved us. You gave us the opportunity to witness such a breathtaking sight. Thanks to your help, this journey holds no regrets for me. As for the truth behind the so-called secret of immortality, Fu Ling has told me everything. I had a gut feeling it would turn out to be a disappointment. Couldn't give up, and in the end, I lost sight of why I even started this journey. But this isn't the first time this has happened. Let's just call it another adventure coming to an end. I've talked about it with Fu Ling. From now on, I'll take her on more trips to see more new places together. Until. <laughs> Until the day when I can no longer hold a pen. I've already talked to the folks at the publishing house, and they're happy to let me continue painting for them. My eventual departure may be unavoidable, but I want to give it my all until the very end. No matter what happens, please take care. Even if... I know you've already looked past death, but remember... There are people who care about you. They want you to live on and be happy. Yes, I understand. Sometimes I wish we could stay together a little longer, if only for a while. Of course, fooling. I. We've always been. I don't know how these NPCs looks like so different, and especially the girls. 
It's not time to be sad yet, is it? No. I've compiled a list of renowned doctors in Huangyang. They're highly skilled and may offer assistance for your medical condition, which is challenging but not impossible to cure. Lady Chengli, I, I truly can't thank you enough. No need for thanks. If you're feeling generous and want to repay me, I hope to see Fuling's work in the next issue of Artists of Huang Long. Everyone's been missing seeing their favorite landscape artists work lately. Didn't know you were a magazine reader. Are you surprised? Well, now I'm curious. What kind of a person do you see me as? Now that the situation has been resolved, you should return to Hongzhen. You deserve some good rest. After going through so much, you must be exhausted, Rover. What about you? Me? Well, I think Lady Xing Yi could use the extra help in dealing with the aftermath. Got it. Splendid. It's getting late. Maybe we should wait until we get back to discuss anything else. Hmm. Shoi? Uh, is this the end of the quest now, or is there still more gotta do? Probably a little more. I gotta wait two days later, apparently, so let's do until like 8 o'clock in the morning. No, <laughs> two days. Two days have passed since Chung Li told me that she and Xing Yi would handle the aftermath. I wonder how she's doing. Are you worried? Let's just go ask her then. Um... Might as well. Chung Li can be difficult to find. Let's go ask Xing Yi first. Where will she be at? Oh, right, I'm here! And do you know about her whereabouts? Or she was a policy spoiler you last met her? Huh? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, I'm here. Greetings. We're almost done dealing with the aftermath of the previous incident. We're currently questioning the remaining Fraxidus members we caught at Mount Firmament. They wanted to get their hands on the temporal program from the legend of the Wei Qi game with the intention of unleashing chaos in Mount Firmament once again. But thanks to you and Chang Li, their plans were foiled. Chang Li recounted to us that a Fraxidus overseer had entered the Sonora Sphere and was injured by her fire. They were lucky to escape, but have not been seen since. They just don't know when to quit. I've put together a thorough report for City Hall. We will strengthen our defenses to make sure this doesn't happen again. Hmm, I haven't seen her these days. We parted two days ago on the coast, and then she returned to Jinjo. Perhaps she's just taking some time to rest and recover. It must have taken a lot out of her to summon that much fire at once. How is she doing? Chang Li knew you'd be worried, and she wanted me to relay this message to you. Meet her at the pavilion on Mount Firmament. She'll be waiting for you there. She also Ooh. said, no more riddles this time. Thank you. Okay, um, how far is that? Mm, it's not that far away, it's just right there. What's next? I thought Camille, she appears next afterwards. Oh, she's just sitting there. Say, so let's play a game, huh? Like, um, okay, I guess we're doing that first. How are you feeling, Rover? Well rested, I hope. <clears throat> I'm more concerned about you. Aw, can't you see I'm perfectly fine, sitting right in front of you? Is Mal family back to normal? Don't worry, Rover. We're only having a casual conversation today. Nothing taxing. Besides, okay. Besides, you only agreed to join me here for more questions, right? Hmm. Indeed, I guess. Sure. Ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Alright, about the game record and secrets of immortality. It all started a century ago, when my mentor, Master Xuanmyo, had a brief encounter with a certain peculiar visitor. During a TD outbreak, my master was rescued by that individual. 
He exuded a unique energy and was always elusive. My master dug through ancient texts and unearthed his presence in long forgotten history. After searching for several years, he finally met that person on Mount Firmament again. They played a game of Weichi together, and that was how the legendary game record came into being. At first, I thought my master meant the game record held actual information about the time crisis. But that was just a clue. The real key was finding you, the person behind it all. And lastly, the secret of immortality. It's most likely just the woodcutter's own spin on the tail. Sure. Ask away. Don't say it twice. I'm happy to answer them <clears throat> to the best of my ability. About the singular spiel. My master and the mysterious visitor had set a trap with the Sonaro Sphere, using the Weichi game as a guise. They hid it with the Court of Savante's Chronos Orders, and it would only activate once the time flow on Mount Firmament was restored to its normal state. Despite the Sentinel and Mount Firmament being saved, the Fraxidus would not go down without a fight. They were convinced that the temporal mandate was hidden within the game of Weichi, but little did they know, they had already fallen into a trap. Pure coincidence or the calculated workings of the Fraxidus, the explorer stumbled upon the Weichi board, setting off its defense mechanisms. I see. The Sentinel was already damaged when it arrived here. My master had foreseen the disasters that would befall Mount Firmament, so he created this mechanism as a precautionary measure. The Sonoro Sphere would devour all who attempted to enter, unless they knew the solution to that puzzle. The solution? You mean burning down everything? <sighs> Precisely. The only way to escape was by burning the Sonoro Sphere without hurting anyone inside. It required masterful control of Forte. Thinking back, it was probably his ultimate test for me. Hmm. Um, I wouldn't say that though. Didn't know someone could plan as much ahead. That was his first goal with this Sonoro Sphere. There was a second one? Before leaving, Master entrusted me with a mission to find that individual, the one who played Weichi with him, the one who left behind that game record. After my master's passing, he would be the only one who could control the Sonoro Sphere. By now, you should know who he is. Hmm. Uh, I think it's me. Yes. <clears throat> hmm. I see that's why you seem to know a lot about me. My master often mentioned you before his passing. And from the moment you arrived in Jinjo, I had my suspicions about your true identity. Our journey to Mount Firmament solidified my beliefs. And finally, the Weichi board in that Sonoro sphere sealed the truth for me. Sure. Ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. About the girl in the soul spiel. Indeed. Those memories... They were all real. I saw a little girl in the soul spiel and that was you. I assume this was a younger version of you? Yeah, we all assume. Yeah. Yes. That's all in the past. Just a little homeless girl with no name. I never thought we could make new memories in the Sonoro Sphere, where only the past repeats itself. A moment of companionship and protection meant everything to me. Hmm. If it wasn't the secret of mortality, what about you? I can sense your unspoken question. Did I sacrifice my life when I burned down the Sonoro Sphere? Like when I was a child. What I told you there was true. But I've grown and gained control over my powers. 
Using my forte now won't harm me in any way. Of that, you can rest assured. Also, if you really are the legendary person who changed the course of history, then you are perhaps the closest to immortality, aside from our sentinel. We mortals come and go. Our lives are full of meetings and goodbyes. Our time on this earth is fleeting compared to yours. So don't let it bother you. Hmm. I live in the moments just like you do. <clears throat> I see. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to leave this beautiful world behind. Then, would you be willing to finish that game of Weichi with me instead? Oh, I knew it. Of course. And he's out of like, what? How did you forget? <clears throat> and I don't know. I don't think they'll see us play though, unless they did, maybe. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. <clears throat> The young orphan girl carried on. Everywhere she looked, tragedies rampant. As lament engulfed the globe, a world torn by monsters, filled with homeless souls. With her own blood as fire, she drove away the cold. And her master said, in this tumultuous world, lives are fragile as mayflies. She couldn't exhaust herself to save those before her. But she must endure to ignite a brighter tomorrow. She wielded her wits to evade harm, treading on knives with care. Alone. Yet maturing through stumbles. Later on, she became someone else's teacher. She taught the future leader this to guide conscience and secure prosperity for the people, to continue lost teachings of past sages and establish peace for all. I will be the torchbearer, for one person can't rid the world of chaos alone. One day, a future of prosperity and lasting peace will arrive. Is that the end? Oh, yes, it is the end. Ooh. Oh, so I could just sit here and just play with her. That's hilarious. Oh, I'm gonna avail. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Oh, Sayonara.